Black Bear is one of those films that leaves you blinking at the screen as the credits roll, thinking, what on earth did I just watch? It's a movie that wraps itself in layers of meta-commentary, and frankly, it gave my brain a workout. Part one plays out like a tense relationship drama. We're at this idyllic retreat in the Adirondacks, not unlike the kind of getaway spot you might find hidden away in the Cascades near Portland. It's serene but charged with undercurrents of friction. There's this palpable tension between the characters, almost like you're waiting for a storm to break the quiet. Aubrey Plaza's character, Allison, is at the center, an actor and filmmaker wrestling with creativity's demons. The characters around her, Gabe and Blair, engage in this passive-aggressive dance, which seems to fuel Allison's inner turmoil and her artistic process. It's uncomfortable, almost voyeuristic. We're made privy to the raw humanity and fragile egos that inhabit the world of filmmaking. But then, part two thrusts us through the looking glass. What was once the narrative becomes the backdrop for creating a narrative. We're thrown into the chaotic world of film production, and suddenly, the roles are reversed, relationships are shuffled. It's like watching the first part through a kaleidoscope. Everything is distorted, yet familiar. Here, it becomes evident that we are exploring the intertwining relationship between art and life. It's as if the film asks, where does reality end and performance begin? Aubrey Plaza's character in this segment is a force of nature, raw, and at the mercy of the film she's making. Or is the film making her? It's a potent examination of the toll that art can take on artists, blurring the lines between their lives and their work. The symbolism of the black bear itself is a riddle wrapped in the enigma of the film. In part one, it's a lurking threat, a symbol of the wildness that borders the seeming tranquility of the retreat. In part two, it becomes a part of the chaos of production, almost a totem on set. But what does it really represent? The danger of untamed creativity, the unpredictable nature of life, or the destructive power of personal and artistic conflict? Maybe all of the above, maybe none. Fittingly, the film doesn't provide easy answers. Instead, it serves as a puzzle that each viewer is invited to solve, offering as many interpretations as there are people watching. It's a testament to the beauty of ambiguous cinema. Each person walks away with a piece of the bear's fur, so to speak colored by their unique perspectives and experiences. Black Bear is a beast that refuses to be tamed, much like the creative process it mirrors. It's a wild ride, and true to Portland form, I appreciate anything that dares to take the road less traveled by.